Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're revisiting Control with a 47 TTI. Now this title is the first fully, well I would want to say first fully ray trace title but to be fair this title came out to fully showcase the RTX and well it kind of went down in the history with it. Obviously there's more titles with fully ray trace reflections and stuff, but I think this one kind of takes the case because of, you know, shouting the loudest. So, let's jump in. What do we have? We're gonna go with a 4K native resolution, full screen, no DLSS enabled, no vertical sync, and quality preset is going to be high. Now, the only thing I changed, for obvious reasons, is multi-sampling and the aliasing. Now, in all high, it actually is four times, I don't see the point in 4K for it because the most impact is going to be ray tracing. Ray tracing preset is set to high with everything including ray trace debris. So, I would say this is a pretty good stuff. So let's start a brand new game, rewrite existing and just see how much we're going to get with a native resolution, 4070 Ti and see where we land. Let's go. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes... Well, sometimes damn. Something crawls out from behind the poster. For being a full-blown RTX card, the 4070 Ti is definitely not living up to the hype. Can you just imagine the frames you would be getting with a mult sampling enabled? Now, gladly this is a pre-rendered cutscene, but oh well. And we're out of it. So what do we have? Everything's shiny and wet, and we have glorious 40-ish frames. Oh, boy. Okay. We're not gonna trigger the metal detectors and... Yeah, well, as you can see, all of this is fully reflective. Now, to be fair, granted, um... We are getting 45 frames with ray tracing cranked up. At the same time, to be fair, the game is not really that demanding. Like, video memory is only being pulled 7.8 gigs. And only 8 gigs of actual RAM. So, to be fair... I don't know. I think I'm pretty much with a crowd of ray tracing is simply not there yet. Now, this is pretty well optimized title, despite what I would want to say about all this, but um, it is how it is. And the fact that, you know, it does look nice, I must say it also feels a little bit janky here. Now, this is... I wouldn't say it's a fault of the GPU or fault of the game. I would say the RTX technology itself just give such a huge penalty to the player that you need to sacrifice something for it and this something would probably be DLSS which will alleviate some of the rendered resolution but you will get an upscaled version of it and you can still enjoy the RTX reflections and it is nice to see yourself you know being reflected in all the surfaces and stuff like this but end of the day you need to ask yourself a question is it actually worth it because I know graphics and storyline is important as in every story driven game and title but to the expense of 37 frames in 4k I mean come on guys I mean granted if you play this in 2k you can double that so 37 times 2 well you're getting about 74 frames give or take I would say 60 stable and you could argue that, you know, 4070 Ti is not a full-blown 4K card. And you are correct. At the same time, performance-wise, it definitely outranks the 3070 Ti. And if you just spent a lot of money for 4070 Ti, you probably will be wanting to play games in 4K. 
specifically taking advantage of the new Adel Lovelace RTX and everything else, you know, increased core count for RTX and increased boost clocks and processing power. Well, this is probably what you're gonna get, which is a little bit, a little tiny bit sad, to be fair. But let's see how this plays out. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Uh, very good. I'm a the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you are out. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Naughty the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Now, this game, surprisingly enough, actually does take advantage of 60 frames plus. For the simple reason, well, you will be engaging in combat, you know? So, to be fair, 60 frames is something you want to be at. You can possibly play this game and, you know, go against all the enemies. Uh, whatever the enemy name was, scream, shout, uh, noise, I actually have forgotten it already. But yeah, this is, I don't know, a little bit disappointed. And we are running the latest NVIDIA driver that came out uh, ever since 4060 came out. Ooh, that nobody expected. Unless you're living under the rock, you won't expect it, but hey-ho. We were called conspiracy theorists about that. And yeah, this is the performance that you're getting off a full-blown 4070 Ti. A little bit disappointed. And kind of hard to justify it because... Without RTX, I guess it's going to be just fine. But what's, what's the point of RTX if even the top tier... One of the top tier... Okay, we're not talking about 4080, 4090. One of the top tier GPUs is giving us this level of frames. You know, I don't know if I'm making myself clear here. But it, it kind of seems like this is only going to go downwards from here. And this is the actual game itself. The environment you will be spending most of your time in going against the enemies so let's try to quickly go through the training session of uh, getting the gun Shit. and whatnot and see how we fare against Shit. the actual enemies you want me to pick it up the murder weapon really And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of a. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? So the training area still pulling eight gigs, sixty-ish frames. The same gun. I think they're pretty good at dodging the shots to be fair.
Oh wait, we do have a secret attack. I mean, it's secret only if you don't use it. And yeah, well, the game runs perfectly fine at 60 frames. So that's our target where we want to be, but... Not with these settings. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You... Thank you. That was... Horror. Yeah, well, this is not enjoyable, let me tell you that much. So, let's just see if we can uh, alleviate some of this with the uh, glorious DLSS. And we actually can. So, GPU usage has gone to 6.8. We're above 60 frames, and oh dear, this is such a difference. Now, considering we do have all of the RTX benefits for the ray tracing and shadows, I would say this is not a bad thing. Now, clearly, we're not actually at the point where we're getting too much above 60 frames. 68-ish, so we need to engage a little bit more in combat. But, yeah, you know... This is definitely more... This is definitely more enjoyable and playable than it was before. And we're not losing that much performance while everything is flying around. So yeah, I guess uh, that kind of gives you the answer for what you're gonna get with this. The hiss. the hiss wasn't the noise, it was the hiss. In this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. <gasps> I 
sends the control point. What's that mean? Help me fix it. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Yeah, well, we definitely did it. And so goes the adventures in control. And everything else. So yeah. I must say, this is just uh, one of the many examples of what happens when the game is running fully for the RTX, so don't be surprised. I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If, because if that's bleep, I don't know. She's the odd that I can't. Yeah, I can. We can try. Okay. You with me? Yeah, well, you might hate me for skipping Watch over the dialogue, but I believe this, I believe this is uh, the correct course of, uh, course of action <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> running out of frames and I'm running out of English, so that's a thing. Ripping it out rips them apart. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And just to drive the point across, I'm gonna disable the DLSS. And we're back to glorious 40 frames. Which to be fair, are as good as nothing when it comes to RTX enabled. Go figure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.